In this video, I'm gonna show you three flash techniques to help you create dramatically awesome images that sell and will make your clients think that you are What's up everybody, my name is Pai Jirsa of SLR Lounge and Lynn and Jirsa Photography. And in this video, we're talking about dramatic imagery. Lynn and Jirsa Photography is known for our dramatic couples portraits. Whether we're doing an engagement session, whether we're doing weddings, we always build in some awesomely dramatic images to go along with our delivery. So let's talk about the lighting first. And I'm gonna say first and foremost that I love hard light. We love hard light. I love lamp. Why? Well, hard light can be a little bit cumbersome to work with. You have very hard highlights, very deep shadows, not a lot of transition, and so you really have to work with the posing. But the cool thing about hard light is that it can really chisel out your subjects in scenes that are very complex. And the first thing that I want to answer is, well, could we be using standard flashes? Yes, you can. The only difference is you're gonna be using three to four flashes to get enough power out of them. So at a certain point, it gets a little bit cumbersome to always be setting up three to four flashes and dealing with their longer recycle times and so forth. With the B2, we get 250 watt seconds of power in a very portable format with easy to use modifiers. And so, well, it's kind of our preferred choice. So for the first scene, we took the Canon 5D Mark III with my Sigma 35 millimeter art. We place it onto my Mi Photo tripod and I'm shooting this wide scene. I'm going across the tide pool and shooting towards the couple, leaving the sun towards the right side of the frame. And my thought is, I wanna show off all that beautiful, complex detail that is Laguna Beach's tide pools. It looks fantastic. And we want the sun to kind of bleed in through the right side of the frame so it kind of brightens up towards the right side. We have the couple placed on the left side getting a really great dramatic environmental portrait. So the issue though is we need to first jump in and dial in the appropriate ambient exposure for what we want the ambient light to look like. And I found that right around one two hundred of a second at F11 and ISO 100. We got great dynamic range. We captured most everything into a single file. We got a really beautiful tone in the sky. The only thing was when you look at that image with the couple standing in it, they're dark. They're about the same brightness as the shadow areas of the other pieces of the image. They're the same brightness as the other components. And because of that, they blend in. They blend in the background where I want them to kind of be chiseled out. We know that our eyes are drawn visually to the highlights in an image. From that point, I had my assistant grab the B2. We pop on this reflector. This reflector is a simple little modifier that's just gonna direct light towards the area that we want it. Because this has an open face on it, if we pop a shot without the reflector, the light's kind of just going everywhere. So once we're good to go, I have my assistant holding that light right to their left side. So if the sun's coming from this side, the assistant's lighting from this side to give them a main light to pump them up. And we get the final image where we have this beautiful grand scene with our subjects chiseled out towards the left side with that sun bleeding in from the right. Now, you're probably gonna notice that we still have the assistant in the actual shot. And this is why the camera is on a tripod. We take one shot with the light in there. We take one shot with the assistant removed and that's our plate shot. For the second shot, I chose my ambient exposure at 1 200 of a second, F14 and ISO 200. And the reason why I went to ISO 200 is because I have these waves crashing in and I wanna capture kind of the, the waves and keep the shutter speed a little bit quicker so we can freeze that motion if it is present in the shot. We end up getting the image that you see here which doesn't have any light added to it and once again, we need to add light. So this go around, I have my ass assistant once again grab the B2. We're firing basically at full power now because he's a little bit further from our subjects with the reflector on again to kind of guide that light directly into them. Once that wave comes over and washes in, we pop the shot and we get this final image, which has beautiful tones. We have our sun as a backlight, that natural vignette pulling in, great color, a very dramatic, really cool scene, which I think for dramatic scenes, things like dips and kisses and those kind of romantic things work fantastically well. So for this second lighting setup, we're now using the sun as a backlight and we're using the Pro Photo as our main going into her side. 
leaving his side in a little bit of shadow and just balancing the ambient light for a little bit of fill to kind of reach those shadows that might be a little bit dark, as well as to freeze the motion in the ocean. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Okay, so let's move on to scene number three. And we're actually heading back now. We're not finished with the shoot, but we're moving back towards the cars because the tides are rising. And I started noticing with the crashing of the waves, we're getting a beautiful mist in the air. Now, whenever there's mist in the air, whenever there's rain, whenever there's fog, the first thing that always comes to my mind is backlight. Backlight, backlight, backlight. Because it's gonna look fantastic. You get such a cool dramatic effect. For this go around, I have my assistant take the reflector off because now I want the light to open up. And then he's walking over and I'm actually taking a little test shot just to get my ambient exposure. And I got my ambient exposure, but what's interesting about it is when he was walking over, I forgot to turn off the radio. So it actually fires the flash directly into the scene. And I thought, hey, that's perfect to show everybody why you wouldn't want to fire your flash towards the scene because we end up washing out all the shadow in the scene and it looks like direct flash has been added and we lose that beautiful natural ambient light that we would get. So once he got behind the couple, we have him place the B2 on a Manfrotto Nano stand. It's just a very small, easy to use, and very portable flash stand. He set it right behind the couple and just hides it just below them. So as they pull together, the flash is hidden from view. Then at 1 100 of a second, an F2 and ISO 200, right around 5,800 degrees Kelvin, we pop the shot and we get this beautiful backlight that kind of lights up our couple. We have great tonality and this really cool image with our eyes drawn right in this little piece where this backlight goes off and we have the fog and mist around them that kind of creates a little halo around our couple. So those are three different lighting techniques that you can use bare bulb flash hard light to create really cool and dramatic effects. Now let me talk for just a moment about why we create these images. Well for us, these dramatic environmental portraits play a part in every single shoot. And basically what we're doing is, in a typical engagement session, we're gonna go out and shoot a variety of images including natural and candid imagery, playful imagery, some traditional shots, and our dramatic photographs. These images draw attention and when placed in front of a wedding reception, when placed online via social media, when placed on your blog, they're going to attract people to you as they attract people to us. And in fact, we get a lot of clients that come to us that hire us specifically because they see these photographs and when we get their mood boards, the mood boards actually look nothing dramatic at all. They might want us to shoot something bright and airy, they might want a completely different look, but they hire us because they figure that if we can create those kinds of images, we can do well anything because we are magicians. I feel like that's gonna be my like catchphrase, my little symbol. I really don't want it to be, it's just gonna be that way. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial. If you guys liked it, please click like below, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let us know what you think so that we can keep on making more of these little tutorials for y'all. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.